T Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone. T Man 978. Today, I bring you Transformers Earthrise Micro Masterclass Trip Up and Daddy O with Bomb Shock and Growl. Here is the back of their packaging. Let me get this out of the way. Much like the bigger figures, they have this little piece that you can decode with your little red decoder piece. But it doesn't come with the red decoder piece like the other ones the bigger figures come with. Alright, when I was younger, MicroMasters were one of my favorite. I just wanted them to be able to have legs that had articulation like these have. Where they can actually put their legs like this. And they went the extra mile here and gave him a waist joint and whatnot. But now here in practice, I don't know, they don't feel probably as sturdy as the old figures. These two are probably better in the leg department and whatnot. And the fact that I can actually get them to stand up. But um, these over here, holy moly, getting this, look, this backpack on him is a mess. And like, it is so difficult to it locks in like nowhere you're supposed to just get it to a certain point well maybe I did lock it in right here and I didn't realize that's the locking point I did that without realizing you can't really tell in the instructions but still getting them to stand up because that backpack is so huge is very hard so I have to use that to, to change up the center of gravity on them and definitely like this one too that's a huge backpack he has like these two things you would think act like heels and i guess they can a little bit but they are not stiff at all these are also an evolution of minicons from back in the early 2000s where they don't just become vehicles they become like a secondary weapon for the bigger robots so here's your spotlight on trip up right here legs are painted this is what he looks like going around. You can see that Autobot symbol a little bit. I'll show that more in vehicle mode. And he has all this hanging off his back. Here's his face. Kind of looks like he might have a frightened expression. The head does not rotate. But the arms are capable barely of turning right here. And you get a little bit of that action right there. <laughs> you can see the hand in here. But because of these dumb long shoulders... They're way worse than Hot Rod. You ain't getting no outward motion, barely. He has the waist joint, like I showed. And the hips can go up and the knee bends right there due to transformation. Here is Daddy-O. I believe his name used to be Big Daddy. But, yeah, you can't have no name like that. Kind of sounds like a pimp name. But, same articulation. Waist swivel. Yada yada. Legs painted. That's nice. Head does not rotate. Now here is Growl. I like the detail and whatnot in them. But I just wish they were a little bit more substantial. And could stand up without falling over. I mean these are definitely. Uh, let me just say this now. These are not for older collectors. They definitely had kids in mind when they designed these. Like something cheap that you can buy your kid that they can toss around and have in their pocket and whatnot but a lot of detail he has a weird transformation thing where the chest can go up but going by the instructions you don't even need to utilize that like pretty much at all uh, i'm gonna see again when i start transforming it but i don't think for either form it takes the gun form or the truck form it doesn't need to utilize that, so that's that's interesting. I think they could have put that extra point of articulation into the neck. That would have been cool. But his arms go out, as you can see. He has a big cannon weapon that you can rotate w whichever direction. I would say you could put it on his back, but his back is already back heavy. The legs go out easier than these two. They kind of get caught up in the thighs. And it still bends and whatnot. Bomb Shock. Bomb Shock has a moving chest as well, but that does work for his transformation. His arms, even though they're not hindered at the shoulders, you still don't get a lot of outward motion with that. Maybe this way a little bit, but that's that. 
His head actually does rotate. His waist rotates, unlike this guy. And he still has the same type of hip joint articulation that everybody else has. But he doesn't, he can't kick up as high as everyone else. And yes, like I said, he's still back heavy because of this right here. True to the original, they pretty much all have the same transformation. You click the legs together, you get the arms into place, which pretty much aren't even transformed, and then you bring this forward, pegging it underneath of the shoulders, and just pretty much shut that. Try to get it as flush as possible. You would think something like this wouldn't have to work with it that much. Now this guy, same exact transformation. I was gonna skip it, but it's so freaking easy. That, why skip it? Only thing I didn't do that time was click the legs together first. These are a little bit more involved. I'm gonna have to take his arms off. Let me take the gun off. I'm gonna lift this forward, peg, the arms or the hands into the side of his legs, peg the legs together, rotate this, shut it, and bring that down like that. Grab the gun and put the gun there. This one, we need to lift the chest up right here, lift the shoulders up. Now, if you want to be extra fancy, you could rotate that head around, but I kind of need tweezers to do that, and that's not fun. Plug the legs together, flip it like this kind of bending at the hips, bend that that way, and force those things under there. Now we can rotate this turret, and sometimes this like bumps onto something when you try to turn it back. I don't know what that's about, so it feels like you're going to break it when you come back. But, yeah, this doesn't have, wait, no, no, oh, am I about to lie? No, it doesn't have any wheels. So there you are with that. So they save some money by not giving them wheels. But this guy rolls, growl rolls, daddy-o rolls, and trip up, he rolls. Here's trip up's details. He is a muscle car, not too much crazy paint. Just the engine is painted, all the windows are painted, thank goodness. And this side flames or whatever that effect is supposed to be. So, cool. daddy -o. The side flame is painted. Windshield is painted. Front and back and sides. And the engine. Growl. Growl. And technically you can put the cannon on the side of them. Right there if you wanted to. And if someone else had a small gun, like, let me get this from off of him. You can put a little gun like that. So that's cool. This guy does not stay together <laughs> well at all. These flimsy little pieces of plastic. But the windshield is painted all the way around. The grill is painted and this gun is painted. So, hmm. You know what, because he doesn't have flame effects on the side like these cars, they were able to paint that grill and the headlights so, and this, so that's cool. Now this guy, well I guess he took, this one took his paint budget. All they painted was the treads down here and the, uh, the Decepticon logo back there, which is just silver. And the cool thing about him, he doesn't have wheels, but he has a turret. And it doesn't stay, both of these do not stay pegged together well, to be honest. Well, there's that right there. What you're supposed to do with these guys is get them to interact with the bigger figures. Or just have your own little army. But they can work with ironworks back here. And if you have multiple ironworks, or you have another one of these guys, you can make a bigger little city. They can interact with that. Or... If you've been collecting Transformers as long as me, you have some type of Titan class. You probably have um, Omega Supreme. I still have not bought that. I might never own it. I have Fan Soy Ceremonist Giganticus, so it's like, do I really need it? But 
Yes, Scorponok is coming out in this particular part of the line in Earthrise. But he's a Decepticon. But you can do all types of things with bigger figures. And now for their secondary transformations. You can go ahead, pull this handle down right there. Take the legs and go ahead and rotate the legs up into a position like this. And basically, that's a gun right there. But you're also supposed, also supposed to take this handle, take this one, and do basically the same thing, ma'am. And this can be a gun for a bigger robot. Here's Titans Returns, RC wielding them as a gun. But the suggested transformation, whoever is on the bottom is supposed to just keep their legs straight. And then you plug the handle into the upper guy's chest, leaving space for this handle to be there. And now they become a big gun with four barrels. So if you have siege blast effects or yes, yeah, siege, because the Earthrise guys are just come seem they seem to be coming with like impact effects instead of blast effects so basically if you're collecting all this mess like me you have all types of blast effects and if you've been watching me long enough you see i used this this red effect as blood and here we go with that These two guys are way more involved. You're supposed to lift that up, rotate it, which scares me every freaking time. Bring this down, rotate that, and bring it this way. These legs do not want to stay together for me on my copy, but basically have it like this right here. Now for this guy, we need to undo his legs rotate the gun this way lift this up like this and bring out that handle but basically have it like this flip him this way and go ahead and shove this handle into you there like that actually i did this wrong this is supposed to be not turned and we can have it like this. But basically, this is their gun. Two barrels and a big cannon on the bottom. It looks a freaking train wreck. And yeah. So if you, this is something you can do, but it, it just looks a train wreck to me. I would just have them as little robots. Now, this one, you can leave it like this and have them be a gun. This. Not so much. Uh, you had a handle down there, but I don't know how much this actually looks like it shoots anything. But yeah, here's the thing. These are for small kids like this particular set. The MicroMasters, I just feel like unless you are nostalgic for MicroMasters, you are not going to have too much fun for, with these like Unless you just plan on opening them and putting them on your shelf. You have to be like a kid or somebody with a super duper child like mine where you actually pew 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 play with these on the floor to enjoy them to me personally. Because otherwise they aren't all that fun. And honestly, I don't know how much fun kids will have because they do not stand up. And when my friend to Parts Former told me that he just likes the figures to be able to stand up. He doesn't care about articulation and whatnot. I cared about it at that age. But come on, you. Like, it's a struggle to get them to just even stand up. The people that are new to my channel. 
These are my opinions, and I typically don't sugarcoat them. So, if you're upset because I don't like MicroMasters all that much, I am sorry. And I don't care. I am nostalgic for MicroMasters. Like I said, they were my some of my favorite Transformers as kids, but uh, it's kind of hard to keep having a desire to buy them. Like, I took forever to even purchase these. They've been available on Amazon for retail price forever. And I've been dragging my feet because I knew I'd be bored with them. <laughs> Especially when I have stuff like this. I know it's not a fair comparison because they cost a little bit more. But, yeah. Compared to these things, like, wow, why would you even, why would you even want them? Anywho, Thank y'all for watching this video. Until next time, T-Man978. Look in the description if you do want to buy these. Click my link in the description. Out of here. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click those f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click that shit.